This is the plaintiff, James Brown. He says the defendant's been renting a room in his house for the past three years, and the guy stopped paying the rent just like that out of thin air. The defendant lives in the house, has to pay rent, and if he doesn't, he'll have him evicted by the sheriff. He's suing for $1,286.60, the amount of rent owed. This is the defendant, Patrick Nolan. He says he isn't really sure the house is the plaintiff's, and if it's not, he can't collect rent. Besides, the place is infested with bed bugs. All the tenants have gone on a rent strike. And until he takes care of the problems and proves he owns the house, rent will be withheld. He's accused of challenging a landlord. All parties. Please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiff says the defendant rented a room in his house for three years, and all of a sudden he stopped paying rent. But the defendant says the place had bed bugs, so hello, rent strike. It's the case of you and the bed bugs bite. All righty. So, Mr. Brown, you're the owner of a building? I'm the owner, um, but the, the court put me back in the house to rescue it because it's in, it is in foreclosure, so... Has it been foreclosed upon? It's not foreclosed yet. Okay. How many apartments are in it? Uh, you mean rooms? Or rooms. About um, seven rooms. Seven rooms? Yes. All right. Are they... Is this a house? It's a house, yes. Okay. So you rent it out to seven different people? Or how many people were you renting it out to? It was about five, but it's about six now. Okay. And how long have you not been making payments? Since, um, I think it's 2016. Oh, my gosh. It took the bank that long to file the foreclosure? Or did they file it and it's taken two years in court? Well, um, the... Three years. You have to understand, the court um, put me back in the house to rescue it. I could um, rent it, I could um, modify it, or I could sell it. I choose to modify it one uh, in 2014, 2015, okay, I don't care what happened okay. eight years ago. I need you okay. to listen to my question. So you haven't paid since 2016, even after modifying it and after you got a chance. But my question to you is, what's going on? Did, they fi did the bank file a foreclosure in 2016 or no? Or did they wait? They filed a foreclosure after. after when? After 2016. When? I don't remember exactly How many when. years has the foreclosure been pending? Since um, 2011. Really? Yes. So just you keep going back and forth to court, modifying and... No, I, I try to modify it, but my ex-wife um, is not cooperating. Why would the bank allow it to linger this long? Why don't they just take it? Because it's still in court. I know. 11 years is a very long time to be in court. So I'm trying to figure out how this happens, that it just continues to linger. So if a place is in foreclosure and you're living in that place, um, do you still have to pay rent while it's in foreclosure? I'm thinking, yeah, because you're still on the premises. That's actually a short but compelling argument. What do you say? I say the same exact thing. You know, you knew the deal when you were starting. Well, no, no, no. It wasn't in foreclosure when you moved in. It is now. But still, you know you have to pay X amount in rent per month. That's what you have to do. Is there any justification for not doing that? No, I don't think so. I think you signed up for the lease on the uh, where you're living. You've got to pay off that lease rather, regardless of what the property is doing. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. My ex-wife is not cooperating. So what? If I'm the bank and you owe me money and you're not paying me, I really don't care about your marital or extra ex-marital problems. I don't care. I would say, judge, rule already. It's been 11 years. And then sell the property and cut my losses. Well, that's Why isn't that happening in your case the way it happens in everybody else's, I'm wondering? I want to sell the property, and she wants to sell the property. So? Yeah, so, um, yeah it the, makes no the, sense. But in any event, I know that to be the case, that the foreclosure has not been concluded. Why aren't you paying rent? Well, I seen a paper saying that it was up for auction. Okay. Okay. When was it up for auction? July. Okay. Yeah. Now, when him and I were alone, I asked him, I said, between you, me, and the wall, 
what's the deal with the house, you know? And what did he say? And he says, oh, well, I got all these ways to get around it. I can Well, clean. clearly. He's had a foreclosure pending for 11 years. The man is right. Right. I, I can do this. I can do, you know, uh, bankruptcy. I can do this. I can do that. And, uh, you know, this happened to me before. Yeah, in Brooklyn. What know, happened to you? Where I was paying rent and stuff, and they didn't even own the building. I even worked for them. I was running the house for them. Right, know? but here's the thing. Have you bothered to figure out who owns a building? I don't know how to do that. Oh, okay. So instead what you did was you stopped paying rent? Yes. Without any evidence that you're not supposed to pay him? Well, I offered him a month's rent last month, and he looked at me like... Uh, you know, I insulted him. Well, you owe him so, four so months took rent, it back. right? Right. But I told him, I said, I'll start paying you back, you know, and we'll get it right, you know? And when I handed it According to him... According to you, he told the others, don't pay? I heard they have a meeting. Why do they know? Why do they even know that you're in foreclosure? How did that happen that they know? The bank sent uh, a letter saying that if the house is going to be foreclosed, um, auction on the 19th, of, of July. Uh, July. What happened that day? I gave them the, the, the letter. What? The you gave them the letter? Yes. Why? Because I think it was the right thing to do. <laughs> okay, you thought then that it would be auctioned in July, right? Yes. What happened in July at the auction? Nobody bought it? I, I, I filed for, bank, for bankruptcy. And therefore? Um, they can't do anything with that asset? They can't, you, they can't auction it when you do that? Well, um... I don't know why you're playing dumb, dude. You're smarter than I am. You have been able to maintain a, a foreclosure at bay for 11 years, OK? Stop wondering what your answers are. Just answer me. What happened in July at the auction? It, it, was, not, um, it was not sold. Why did you file the bankruptcy? To save the property. Oh, OK. Well, I guess that's the answer to my question, isn't it? All right. So the bottom line is he owns it. Why aren't you paying rent? Yo, you can't get a straight answer out of this man. Well, I'm pretty yeah. sure his answer was, pay me my rent. I still own it. Pay me my rent. I, I still own it. I, I have a way around it. If I file bankruptcy, they can't sell it, which is precisely what ended up happening. That, that was in, in right. July. OK, Mr. Nolan, I'm, I'm hearing absolutely nothing that would explain why you haven't paid the rent after figuring out that he, in fact, still is the owner. Because I don't know if he is well, the Well, now owner. I'm here to tell you. How's that for a plan? OK. I looked it up, and he's the owner. But I got an idea. Why don't you pay him until somebody else tells you they're the owners? Like, the bank needs to inform you and say, we are now the record owner, for you to have to pay them. The fact that they're planning to sell it. I, do you have the letter he showed you or no? No. He, did, he showed me a little piece like this. You owe the background. I'm ruling in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of the $1,286.60. Tell everybody else he's still the owner and they got to pay. OK. OK, I mean, look, foreclosure could mean that the place goes away from the guy who owned it, the landlord. But in this case and other cases, the landlord still owns it. The landlord still has title to that house, even though it's in foreclosure. The tenant has to pay rent.